It's common knowledge amongst my Twitch followers that I don't like Battle Royale games. I think Fortnite is sh hashtag find me, and I only occasionally play Apex Legends, and that's just because of how satisfying the movement and gun mechanics are. So what the hell went through my mind when I decided I was going to play Spellbreak? Before I get any further into this video, I decided to change things up a little. That's right, I'm making things harder for myself. As of today, every video in this series is going to be broken down into a few segments. I'll be looking at graphics, gameplay, and the game's overall difficulty. This is just to neaten the videos up a little. That being said, I'd appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and left this video a like. Honestly, I don't know how many more games I can play before I turn into a f***ing emotional wreck in the corner. The first thing you'll obviously notice about Spellbreak are the graphics. And sh** on a brick, I think this game looks absolutely f***ing amazing. They're nice, clean, bright and easy on the eyes. I know this type of style isn't for everyone, but in my opinion, it works perfectly for this game's overall setting. Out of every Battle Royale game I've ever played, I find this one the easiest to identify what abilities the other players are using, which helps when it comes to figuring out a plan of attack when engaging an enemy. Their skills and abilities depend on what gauntlets they have on, so it's literally as easy as what colours are your arms, my good sir. Even though my computer is above the recommended settings to run this game, every now and again I did experience some pretty severe frame drops. When I was looking into the graphic settings, everything was set to max, so I ended up dropping them down a little just to get consistent frame rates. I don't know if this was an isolated problem on my end or an optimization problem with the game. It didn't bother me dropping the settings down as the game still looks really good. If you're experiencing similar frame rate issues, I can only recommend doing the same thing. Overall, brilliant looking game. I was a bit f***ing annoyed dropping some frames, but nothing that couldn't be fixed with fiddling with some very simple settings. Now, moving on to the gameplay experience. Honestly, there's nothing to moan about. It's pretty f***ing solid. Movement feels great and it's really easy to learn what you can and can't do. All the abilities are well balanced, so what you end up using is purely down to personal preference. I can't stress enough how much I like games that focus on experience and skill over games that turn into a big contest where one person ends up with the bigger better gun. Honestly though, I can't stress enough how enjoyable this game is when you get into a fight. You're constantly trying to combine your abilities whilst dodging incoming attacks from your opponent. You'll have a little bar on screen that shows how much mana you have left and you have a double jump ability that allows you to glide which also uses some mana. So it's a juggling act in the middle of a fight trying to manage everything. Spellbreak is very forgiving when it comes to your mana though as it fills up really quickly. One thing that annoys some people about this game is the use of bots but I have have to disagree with them as it allows new players to ease into the game without being curb stomped into next week. When it comes to Spellbreak's difficulty, it's one of those easy to learn, hard to master games. You'll get the basics down in no time at all. The only thing that takes any getting used to is all the different combinations of abilities in the game. Apart from that, it's plain sailing all the way. Nothing's over complicated and nothing will f you up. So what's my overall opinion on Spellbreak and would I recommend it? The easy answer is yes. This is up there with the best battle royale games I've ever ever played. It's a solid game, everything works and it's really enjoyable. Honestly this is one of the few games that I'll be keeping installed on my computer as it's definitely something I can come back to in the future. I know Spellbreak isn't going to be for everyone but if you haven't tried it I'd highly recommend giving it a go. If I was to rate Spellbreak I'd give it a solid 5 out of 5. I enjoyed every minute I played and had nothing major to complain about. With all that being said tell me about your experiences with the game in the comments down below and do you think there's anything that needs changing or adding to Spellbreak? I'm off to email the developers about adding potato magic. Wish me luck, I think I'm gonna need it.